Here's yep. our guy, Scott Perry, a.k.a. Ninja P, on hmm. the Hoop Genius Podcast. Salute to our guy, Mo Moonsey, friend of the program. Salute to BJ Armstrong, Scott Perry, a Monday guest on their podcast. Here he is talking about the Knicks and what they should be going after. Here we go. Player who could potentially become a starter at the small forward. You know, again, I don't have the name for you right now, but somebody in that 6'8 range who could score the basketball, uh, give you some defensive versatility, and give you the luxury of being able to play R.J. Barrett maybe down at the two-guard position. Now they've got a bigger team. They've got more size in that starting group, top to bottom. And I think that could help a guy like Jalen Brunson, particularly on the defensive end, as, as you move forward and eventually get to the playoffs. And B.J. knows this. Size still does matter in this game, even though we're in the era of small ball and everybody's uh, enamored with playing small ball. If you can match, if you can be big at your position, mm -hmm. night in and night out, I said, that's what I would like to see for the Knicks. And I think they could make a jump uh, in doing that. Would that take them, you know, to championship level? I don't know. I would make you know a, a, that type of move and then see what happens see what i have there and, and and let it marinate a little bit would i be crazy if you're going after og if i was the gem of the Knicks, scott oh i don't think you'd be crazy Mo. he's a two-way player that bj talks about he can defend he can take the challenge he's strong so he, you know he matches up well at six eight against most small forwards in the in the league he can knock down open shots uh, I mean, he can play off other good players, you know, coming if if he were a guy to come to the Knicks, you know, he'd be playing off guys like Randall and, and Brunson and, and RJ Barrett. So um so yeah, I think that uh that's a, a very good name. You know, I, I don't wanna put him out there like that, but uh right. if that if, but if that uh did come to pass, um I, I could see him as being uh, someone who would Okay, so that was Ninja P. Scott Perry. Couple things to break to to dissect here. Couple things. I feel like him saying, you know, that would be a good name. Maybe there was truth to the rumors last year that they were interested. He was there. He was in the room. Yep. Right. He didn't say. He didn't say. Oh, I don't know. Now, would the Knicks and the Raptors after this lawsuit is just dropped? Are they doing business anytime soon? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. But. He throws OG out there. Now, the thing about Scott Perry, and I put this out on Twitter a couple weeks ago because he made almost a similar statement on the Michael K show where he talked about the Knicks needing a bigger wing to move RJ Barrett to the two. And neither one of these guys, shout out to my guy Mo or, or, or Michael K, pushed back and said, listen, you were the GM of this team back in 2017. You had Mikal Bridges sitting right there, slam dunk. <laughs> Just won a national championship before you. I think they Villanova won that year. Right before your eyes, a three and D wing that we needed. And you decided to get cute and take Kevin Knox. Right? You had Devin Vassell right in, the, in, 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 the, in your sights. Right there. Could have taken him. You went. Uh, maybe it was the best play available strategy. Maybe it was just high value. They went with Obi. No clear plan to get him in here. Where's he at now? He's in Indiana. Like, you had clear opportunities to make simple, simple picks in the draft to upgrade at that position and help your defense, and you passed. Now, all of a sudden, they need a wing. <laughs> like, yo, no kidding. No kidding, Scott. And I like Scott, man. I like Scott. That's my guy. Yeah, and I, I Scott doesn't get enough credit for how he helped really flip the organization around, like in, in taking getting rid of some of those bad contracts and helping the Knicks be like on a good yes. on the good side of those things. Yeah, right. But although they did add, they uh, shout out to Mo because he did say like Kevin Knox. That conversation went. It was like, yep, boop. They even touched on that one. Knicks it went straight to RJ it, Mitch. man. And like, yo, like I that is, I need that follow up question. Please, give me a chance. I need that follow-up question. I got to be able to ask that. I got to do it myself. I got to do that. Hopefully, we'll now get him on Knox the show. Now you have Knox hooping out in Detroit. Huh? Now you have Knox back out in Detroit hooping. And, hey, and I'm glad. Kev, Kev's a great kid. I'm glad. But, I mean, come on here, man. You had slam dunk picks right in front of you. 
And look, we had op- the, the, the worst part, CP, is that it's not like the Knicks didn't have opportunities the last two drafts. Like, yeah. Dale Williams was out there. We could have gotten him. He was drafted later by OKC. That's yeah. that's the name that was out there, man. Um, so, can you make a draft selection this year, Knicks? Can we please get a wing? Somebody. Somebody. Anybody. Somebody. Now, what about the OG stuff? What, what do you think about when, when he said about the OG? Just, just on the surface, just the player right now. Well, and we're going to talk to Will Lou, Toronto Raptors insider. We're going to talk to Will Lou uh, for Game of the Week preview. So it might be a, yes. a topic for Will Lou as well. Oh, absolutely. Um, but I want to – I mean, I be, I think OG would be a really good fit. He's not the player that takes you over the top. But if you want to put RJ at the two, if you want more switchability on defense, um, if you want to even theoretically give Randall a break – from having to defend some of the other force in the league, that would be a guy that would help and do a yeah. lot of those things. He's a good shooter, right? Um, you know, when he, out in Toronto, they were looking at him as like the next Kawhi. This guy's got similar games because yeah. it's, it's like a herky jerky type motion. He moves at a, at a different pace. He's not the the fastest guy on the court, but he knows how to get to his spots. Um, I'd be open to the idea, but that's like, like the asking price for what Toronto wanted for OG was insane. The yeah. thing is, though. He's going to be a free agent this year. So can the Knicks go instead of trying to do a deal now, that'd be a guy that I would wait for this off season and say, Hey, could we swipe him away from Toronto and give him a good deal? Um, you have Fournier's contract. will be off the books at the end of this year, because even though he signed for four years, the last year's a team option. If he doesn't get traded, right? That's how I would look at it. Obviously the question is how do you take care of quickly? If yeah. you want to keep him on the team, but then if you're the Knicks, do you make a subsequent move after that to move somebody to open up the to open up that space to sign OG? There's a, there would be, have to be a lot of moving parts if you wanted to get him on this team because he's looking to get paid too. That's that's the reality of the thing. Exactly. And and that's you know, it it's the double move that I'm always leery of having to trade for the guy and then pay him after that. That's tough. It, that that's tough. I'm not sure about that. Obviously, he could help this team. We need the length. We need the wingspan. We need defense. We need to be able to to have some switchability uh, and be versatile. Uh, I'm tired of seeing guys just coming in here. Even sometimes, even quick. Sometimes, on the sides, just getting shot over, shooting shooting over guys. Like we need to put up more of a tough resistance. Uh, last night, I'd like to see an OG Ananobi guard Devin Booker on that last play. You know, even Ooh. if he's sending, even if he's sending the double, that's the type of guy we need. You know, the the guys that mm. you're putting on again. Grimes does a, a commendable job, and I thought Grimes did a pretty commendable job against Booker last night. But you need a little bit more. So, so then, as the president of the Grimes Hive, and shout out to yeah. Jalen KFTV Jalen for trying to stir the pot on this show. Yeah, would you trade Grimes for OG and Obi? I'm asking the view as the president of the Grimes side, by the way. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I do. Okay. With, with the with the guard depth that we have, and if it means keeping quick, if I got to sacrifice Grimes, I might have to. Hmm. Might have to. 